Ask Reddit by Lee Babe. Single men who had a woman move in. What are examples of a woman's touch that she added? I stopped using empty cardboard boxes as end tables, so that was a pretty definite improvement. I was using cardboard boxes as storage when my girlfriend moved in but apparently that wasn't good either. Instead of buying exactly enough groceries to last until the next paycheck, we actually stocked up. This is really smart and saves money. As soon as I open the last of something, I put it on my shopping list to buy another. That way I have time to clippy coupons or look for a sale. She would bake cookies, decorate for each season or holiday. Opening blinds. The opening blinds hit me. There's a smaller window in my living room that my ex-girlfriend just randomly opened the blinds to the first time she visited. I had never even given it a second thought but the light hits so much better now. Cushions. Cushions everywhere. Pillows and blankets. I'm pretty sure we've spent the GDP of a small country on pillows and blankets. Not exactly what you asked, but I can tell you as a home care assistant for elderly disabled many men in this situation struggle a lot. I'm happy to help where I can we often deal with elderly men who are very lost after losing their wife partner. And yeah, it runs the gamut from that was her work to conversations about how much they miss her. Underrated and underpaid job. Plants and candles. Much less counter space in kitchen and bathroom. More jovial environment. Books. General stuff. Comforters blankets. Hair. Love. More jovial environment lol as a woman I also feel that that's what I bring to the table that and a shit ton of useless bullshit that's fun to look at and play with. She helped me understand when clothes were beyond saving because of wear and tear or just hideous in general. Between her and maturing in general, I actually look pretty good, now. Lol. I wish my ex listened to me when I told him he should throw away the underwear that was torn to the point that his penis flopped completely out when he wore it. But no. Oh. My GF moved in about 4 years ago and there isn't a single wall that's the same color it was before she got here and there's maybe 5 pieces of furniture. My house was very modern blacks and grays lots of metal and very minimalist in decor. She said it looked like a super villain's house. Sounds like Barney's apartment. Did you have a full-size stormtrooper? She saw my hair routine and told me it was all wrong. We went out and spent close to $100 and new shampoo, conditioner, curling leave-in conditioner, a coconut rehydrator and a curling boost creme. My hair has never looked as nice as it does now before she moved in. You're gonna drop them deets for the rest of us curly-haired folk, right? I was living and loving the bachelor's life before the woman who would later become my wife moved in. I didn't realize how unorganized I was until she organized things for me, which led to me having less stuff to worry about, which led to me becoming calmer which improved my life and health by a lot. She also started tastefully decorating things and suddenly my shitty little apartment became a home, which it never was before. Something you look forward to getting back to instead of something that's dry and where your stuff stays till you move again. I moved to a new city and maybe a year later was the first chance my brother came to visit. He walked into my apartment and immediately said, well it's obvious you are still single. My apartment was fine but very bland and just guy energy and he knew it right away. He knew it well because his old apartment was exactly the same before he met his wife and they moved in together. A lid on the trash can in the bathroom. A lid is essential, you don't need your dog digging through it and ripping up your tampons. Ask me how I know. My husband loves that I got annoyed and tightened the hardware on the cabinets. I'm also the fix-it girl in my household. My boyfriend bought me a drill set for Christmas one year. Weird pillows everywhere. Bed. Check. Couch, check. Bench by window, check. 
chairs, check. All outdoor furniture, check. As a woman I know it's not what you mean by weird pillows, but I have a Nicolas Cage one, a Danny DeVito one, and a baguette on me and my fiancé's bed and it makes him both uncomfy and happy El mayo. Got me much more interested in interior design like color coordination, lighting, and gallery walls. She taught me you can do a lot to make a space feel better for not too much money. We split up earlier this year, but those things definitely left an impression on me. I'm hell bent on making sure my new place doesn't feel like a complete bachelor pad. Side note, I'm all about giving much more color to my space. I'm tired of the grey and black household items marketed at guys for dudes to seem sophisticated. I got aqua sheets and pillowcases along with a burnt orange duvet for my bed for starters, and I love it. I want pretty colors and interesting textures, damn it. Whatever makes my space feel good. Hell yeah, that's the spirit. If you're interested in art, I would recommend finding local artists to purchase from. I love supporting local and the art you collect and you go is a nice reminder of good times. I now have a bunch of signs written in glitter telling me to be fierce or to get it girl which is nice. When I wake up I often forget to be fierce or to get it girl so the daily reminder is helpful. Bro, never stop slaying, queen, my guy. Floral print comforter I am so grateful. She added a bidet. Greatest thing ever. Completely changed my life. Got one for my family as a gag gift for Christmas 2019. Came in handy not worrying about the toilet paper crisis of 2020. Best 25 bucks I ever spent. A basket to put keys knickknacks in when you walk in the door. She was right. Put the keys in the key bowl. I got an Amazon package right before Christmas. I thought it was presents for one of my sons so I punched it open and was like WTF. So I read the address and it belonged to my bachelor neighbor across the street. I wrote a note. Sorry, I thought it was a present for my kid. Hope your grandma likes her sheets. Let me know if you want help decorating your bachelor pad. I left my number and I get a text a bit later. He was dying laughing. Said that's my new duvet cover. Edit added cover. I have been widowed nearly 3 years, and I swear I don't even know what a duvet is. I now find bobby pins and hair ties everywhere. I'm halfway convinced they are capable of self-replication. My wife saw the craft one too many times as a kid and now my house has been decorated for Halloween 24 stroke 7 for 20 years. I make my own decorations for Halloween and such and I just leave them up because I'm proud of the work I've done. So far it's been 4 years I've had Halloween and Easter day core up. Plants. Never was a plant person but now there's over a hundred plants in our one bedroom apartment. I learned so much from her, different plant names, watering, and repotting. Meanwhile, I managed to kill our plants after my wife passed away. I didn't intend to do so. But the poor things had virtually no chance with only me to care for them. I even tried to give the poor things away. No one would take them, but they sure had plenty to tell me about caring for them. Hours of instruction followed by, it's so easy now they are all dead. Our place smells amazing, and so completely organized, and everything matches. It's quite nice. She made it a home 100%. The aromas and fabrics. Opposite for me, she hates artificial scents. Facial care routine. More home cooked meals. Edit, oh, and wardrobe style has improved drastically. The cooked meals decreased when she moved it because she kept trying to rearrange my kitchen. I'm the one who cooks, 